was our mystery tune. If you know what it was, call our mystery operator at our mystery number. The first one to call in wins 20 gallons of Happy Mountain Seltzer water. Just remember, Happy Mountain Seltzer was picked as the official water for the United States debating team. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow at exactly 6 a.m. Stay tuned for Big Jack Jackson's analysis of the news. And Dr. Paul West's analysis of Big Jack Jackson. This is little Davey Lewis and little Larry Clark. Bye. Bye. Come on, Dave, let's go. What's your hurry? Well, that sale starts at 10.30. I want to get down there before somebody buys that blue cashmere sweater. Well, if you liked it so much, why didn't you buy it when you first saw it? What, and pay retail? <laughs> Good morning, boys. Splendid effort. Thank you, Mr. Hutton. Boys, I'd like to talk to you. Mr. Hutton, we're supposed to be someplace and we're a little late. It concerns a good deal of money for you. Oh, in that case, we can be a little later. Uh, for a good deal of money, we don't even have to go. <laughs> Do you know the Honey Health Food stores? Oh, yeah, there's one in my neighborhood. Yeah, they're real crazy places. I went into one once and they were having a sale on alfalfa. The place was full of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Hutton shops there regularly. <laughs> I mean, weird to those of us uh, who don't like to eat grass. That grass is going to put a lot of money in our coffers. Oh, you mean somebody wants to buy some time on our show? No, they want to buy your lawn. <laughs> listen to this, listen to this. They're going to buy 10 announcements per week. Great. And on Monday, they want to buy the entire program. The whole four hours? Yes, to celebrate the opening of the Honey Sunshine Dude Ranch at La Marosa Valley. La Marosa Valley? That's beautiful country. Yes, and they want you to do the show at the Dude Ranch and be their guest this weekend. Hey, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, is it on the cuff? On the cuff. You mean, is it a freebie? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> then it'll be more fun. I thought you'd like that. Hello? Francis, get me the Sunshine Dude Ranch, and I'd like to speak to Mr. Honey. Mr. Honey? There's a, there's a Mr. Honey? And a Mrs. Honey and a lot of little honeys. Come on, let's get down to that sale. We'll pick up some blue jeans and some cowboy boots, right? Huh? Oh, uh, Mr. Hutton, do they have horseback riding? Of course. It's a dude ranch, you ninny. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Honey? Mr. Hutton here. I just talked to David and Lawrence, and they will be delighted to accept your hospitality. Really? Well, that's wonderful. D oh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Hutton. I, uh, I'm dripping water on the desk. <laughs> oh? Is that good for it? <laughs> No, it's not that I just came in from the pool. <laughs> Everything's going all right? Yes. When you do business with us, you'll always get total cooperation. Oh, well, I'm glad, because sometimes people get a little stuffy and difficult to get along with. Not with our little family, Mr. Honey. <laughs> just call me Honey. All right. <laughs> honey. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's my Henry Honey Vitalizer drink. All organic fruits and vegetables for nature's favorite, your body. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it, honey. <laughs> Actually, this will be my first time at a dude ranch. Bye. Here's the sign for your office, honey. I think I've made a terrible mistake. About what? Well, I was just talking to that fellow Hutton at the radio station. I could have sworn he said dude ranch. Oh, probably just a slip of the tongue. People say it automatically. Yeah, well, that's the problem you have when you try something different with a name. I still like it. Henry Honey's Sunshine Nude Ranch. <laughs> news for us. Oh? Guess where we're going this weekend? Where? To a dude ranch. A dude ranch? <laughs> yeah, it belongs to a new sponsor. He invited us down this weekend. Darling, that's marvelous. I told you I'm a good provider. Provided it's free. <laughs> okay. Where is it? La Morosa Valley. Gee, it's warm there. We should be able to go swimming. Heck yeah, 87 degrees yesterday. And riding. I bet we could go horseback riding. Well, sure, honey. It's a ranch. You know, I haven't been riding since I was a little girl on my uncle's farm. <laughs> we used to go bareback on old Sam. <laughs> I'm sure they'll let you go bareback. Hey, perfect time to try out my new bathing suit. That's it? That, that's all of it? Darling, it's a bikini. Yeah, but you've never worn a bikini before, honey. I know, but it's a cute one, and Sandy says I look good in it. Mm. You don't think I'd look good in a bikini? No, I think you look great in bikini. It's just that uh, I know how I look at other girls in bikinis, and uh, 
I don't think I'd like other fellas looking at you the way I look at other girls in bikinis. <laughs> Thank you, darling, but don't worry. Everybody wears them today. Yeah, but it's just I, I don't want our new sponsor to see my wife walking around as something indecent. <laughs> The big hand is on the five, and the small hand is on the 14, which means it's 10 o'clock, and time to say au revoir to the bubbling dialogue of Lewis and Clark, broadcasting to you high above the basketball room of the YMCA. Oh, my goodness, what are you doing in here? Get out, get out! <laughs> I take it back, the YWCA. <laughs> Sorry about that, girls. And don't forget to tune in Monday when we'll be originating our show from Henry Honey's fabulous new Sunshine Dude Ranch. We'll be there with exciting on-the-scene coverage of Henry Honey himself celebrating opening day by throwing out the first Gila monster. <laughs> this is the Lewis and Clark Show. Bye. Good morning, boys. Hi, Mr. Honey. Boys, I'd like you to meet our newest benefactor, Mr. Henry Honey. Hi, guys. Just call me Honey. Hi, Honey. <laughs> Dave, nice meeting you. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. Uh, say, that uh, health food seems to really work. <laughs> well, I always say that if you're good to your body, your body will be good to you. <laughs> well, I try to be good to my body, but sometimes it misunderstands me. <laughs> Where do we get you up there in the ranch? Sunshine, fresh air, natural food. <laughs> say, uh, will there be a lot of single girls up there for us? Oh, yeah, quite a few, sure. <laughs> uh, when he says us, he means him. Oh? I'd like to bring my wife if I can. Oh, she'd like to come along. Oh, sure, she'd love it. Really? Linda's a marvelous girl, honey. <laughs> she sounds like a marvelous girl. Well, I think so, and I kind of hate to leave her behind. They have uh, one of those uh, togetherness marriages. Oh, no kidding. Well, uh, you sure she'd like to come, huh? Are you kidding? She's an outdoors girl. Well, in that case, you bring her along, by all means. You sure it's all right? No trouble. I'll tell her I'll be looking forward to seeing her. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh, whoopsie daisy, you're doing it again, Mr. Honey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Larry, oh. nice meeting you, too. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Right. Uh, I'm sorry we have to rush, honey, but if I know my wife, we have a lot of packing to do. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Packing. That's very funny. Packing. Oh, what's, oh, boy. what's funny? Well, they, they, they made a little joke, packing. I mean, you know, because of my nudist colony, what would oh. you pack? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? My nudist colony, you know, the Sunshine Nude Ranch. Nude Ranch? You mean everybody all walking around? <laughs> oh, good grief. All this time and you didn't know that? Of course I didn't know. I thought you said Dude Ranch. I had no idea. What about Lewis and Clark? They don't know either? Of course they don't. Oh, <gasps> my goodness. David wants to bring his wife. David, Lawrence! Oh, what am I doing? They just left. David, Lawrence! Does this mean you're canceling out the show? Canceling out? Don't be ridiculous. I was just a bit confused, that's all. <laughs> Do? No? What difference does it make? <laughs> well, if you're going up there expecting dude and finding nude, it makes quite a difference. <laughs> well, maybe to some people. Now, what about uh, Lewis and Clark? Are you going to tell them? Or? Oh, of course I'm going to tell them, but they are as adult and mature as I am. I see no reason why they would object. I guess you're right. Yeah, you're all right, Hutton. <laughs> hey, you're really all right. Navy, you know. <laughs> Me? <laughs> well, you're going. Oh, no, I'm afraid I won't be able to make it this weekend, you see. Oh, I don't think I told you. My mother. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know. She would kill me! David, should I take something very dressy? Uh, honey, it's a dude ranch. I doubt if they dress for dinner. <laughs> Where is Ed? Ed's Clark! Come on in, we're in the bedroom, Tex. Should I take a tennis outfit? Well, sure, sweet. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Mrs. Partner. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Pretty terrific. Do you think I look too much like a dude? No. Oh. Everybody up there probably wearing the same thing. Hey, Dave, how many bags you taking? See, I told you. I don't care. At least I'll be prepared for anything. Yeah, she's prepared for everything. Heat wave, blizzard, either formal or informal. <laughs> hey, honey. 
You pack my razor. Uh, no. <laughs> sure, if she can't wear it, she don't pack it. <laughs> I'll get it, honey. Just practicing. Hello? Oh, hello. Well, no, uh, David's busy right now. Could you talk to Larry? It's Mr. Hutton, Tex. Well, you can't have everything your way. Hi, Mr. Hutton, what'd I do? <laughs> huh? No, we're just getting ready to leave. What does he want? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Y yeah, I'll, I'll tell him, Mr. Hutton. Goodbye. <laughs> tell me what? Just that you won't be needing these. Larry, will you quit it? I'm trying to pack here. And I'm trying to help. What are you talking about? There you are, Dave. According to Mr. Hutton, that's it. That's all you need. One toothbrush. <laughs> Take the D out of Dude Ranch and change it to an N. Dune Ranch? The other one, the other one. Nude Ranch? Uh, nude Ranch? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's awful. You're not kidding. Now I won't be able to wear my new cowboy suit. <laughs> How could Mr. Hutton make such a mistake? He's had plenty of practice. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's so funny? No, nothing. I, uh, I just got a mental picture of the three of us up at that place. Hey! What three of us? You, me, and uh, <clears throat> Linda. Linda? Yeah, Linda's going, isn't she? Uh -huh. Consider that the first thing settled, Linda is not going. And neither are you. Uh, right, and uh, neither am I. Uh, now, hold on. Let's, uh, <clears throat> let's not be hasty now. It's a uh, newest colony, so what's so terrible? It, uh, so go. Me? Sure. Alone? <laughs> Dave, we're a partnership. So don't go. I'm not. I just thought I'd uh, take a look at both sides first. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. Let's call Mr. Hutton and tell him we both don't want to do it. Good idea. Right. I don't remember reading anything in our contract says we have to talk naked. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and be firm with him, David. I will, honey. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. Let's talk to him in person. He has a habit of hanging up when he's cornered. Right. Vincent, be sure and keep the equipment clean. A clean station is a good station. Okay, Mr. Hutton. Hi, Vinny. Hi, Larry. Uh, Mr. Hutton, we'd like to talk to you. I know, I know exactly what you're going to say, and I can't tell you how badly I feel about my ridiculous mistake. Oh, then you're not going to make us go? Oh, no, you're going all right. <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Hutton, you've got to get us out of this thing. Impossible. I have a contract to live up to, and that is my final word. Hey, he just hung up without even using the phone. <laughs> How about you? You going? Me? Not on your life. <laughs> well, how can you make us do something that you don't want to do? I'm the boss. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, suppose we decide to do it. Does that mean that we have to, uh... uh, uh get naked? <laughs> if Mr. Honey feels you should, you will unclothe yourself and with a smile. Now, if everything is all settled... Uh, Mr. Hutton, uh, nothing is settled. You Boys, still cannot... please, please, I don't want to hear another word on the subject. You will do your show, and that is that. David, you seem to be in pretty good shape. Lawrence, you will set nudism back 20 years. <laughs> well, here we are. Yeah? Uh-huh. It's, uh, it's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh, I mean, the room. It's just like any regular, normal place. Even better. Right. The room is terrific. It's out there that terrifies me. You saw those people playing volleyball, too, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't help it. When you drove off the edge of the driveway, I had to turn my head to flinch. Dave, will you relax? Let's face it. We came here to do a job, and we might as well get used to it right now. Okay, uh, 
What bed do you want? Hi. I think I'll sleep on the sofa. I like to be near a window. <laughs> Larry, let's handle this thing with dignity. Right, dignity. Right. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. Just because we don't believe in this nudism stuff, we have to respect Mr. Honey and his guests for what they believe in. Right. Respect and dignity. <laughs> what? Larry, cut it out. I'm sorry, Dave, but I love tennis. That's the greatest forehand I ever saw. <laughs> Larry. Hey, you know, this is very interesting, Larry. You're not kidding. <laughs> Listen, if you're so brave, why don't you go down there and join the fun? There's a group golf lesson at the driving range. Oh, I, I think I'll stay in. There's a little nip in the air. <laughs> it's 96. <laughs> well, what'd you say was so very interesting? Honey's book here, he's done a lot of research. He says that most people become nudists to have the freedom from wearing clothes. Well, that doesn't take much research. <laughs> and for rest and relaxation. Are you kidding? That volleyball game is still going on. Lair, listen to this. this. Now, this makes a lot of sense. Nature is beautiful. The human body is part of nature. Therefore, the human body is beautiful. Dave, all I have to do is take a few of these things off and I make a liar out of him. <laughs> Probably Mr. Honey, wondering why we're still in our room. Hello? Uh, David? I'm not here. Uh, no, he's down at the pool with the rest of the gang. <laughs> <laughs> it's your wife. <laughs> Hi, honey. David? Honey, he was just kidding. How could I be at the pool and talk to you at the same time? <laughs> well, what are you doing? Oh, we're just uh, sitting around in our room. Well, what were you doing before that? Well, uh, before that, we were in our car. You mean you haven't left your room? Or my clothes. <laughs> well, what about the other people? Well, as far as I can, uh, as far as Larry can see, uh, everybody has taken off their clothes. You mean you haven't seen anybody? Well, just a bellboy. And a quick glimpse of some guys playing gin rummy by the pool. Oh. Well, uh, do a good show, David. Thanks, dear. Listen, when, when I come home, I'll bring you a pamphlet and you'll see that everything up here is handled on a very adult and intelligent level. Oh! What was that? Uh, that, uh, that was Larry, honey. He, oh my goodness, he stepped on a tack. Uh, no, all he took off was his shoes. I'll see you later, sweet. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Dave, we got a problem. What do you mean? Dinner, everybody's coming in from the pool. Let's see. Here, Dave. I mean the list. Dinner, six o'clock. Yeah, everybody's coming in from the pool, all right. Yeah, they are. There they are. Oh, they'll be in the main dining room. Dave, I don't think I'm very hungry. Are you hungry? No, I'm not hungry. Good, let's skip dinner. Listen, we gotta face this thing sooner or later. We got a show to do tomorrow. I'll face it, I'll face it. Tomorrow morning. Maybe it'll be foggy. Hmm. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Why didn't I think of it before? <laughs> Huh, I'll call room service and we'll order dinner up in our room. Hey, beautiful. Then we'll only have to face the waiter. Right. Uh, a room service, please. Ten to one, everything's under glass. <laughs> uh, room service, uh, this is uh, Lewis and Clark in 207. Could you please send us a, a, a dinner menu, please? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Thank you. No room service? No. It's just that if you're the honored guest at a gala dinner affair, uh, it's not polite to eat in your room alone. <laughs> gala dinner party? And we're going to sit at the, at the main table. You mean we got to go down there with everybody? Well, it looks like that. Well, that's that. At least we don't have to discuss what to wear. <laughs> hey, you know... We're going to remember this day as long as we live. You're not kidding, especially when we walk in and everybody rises to give us a standing ovation. <laughs> That's if we walk in. Right, we'll be unconscious. <laughs> hey, if we get there first, it won't be so embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. But we better hurry, everybody's coming in fast. Right, let's dress. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, you know something? Hmm. If you spill gravy, you won't get on your tie. No. I'll burn a hole in my chest. <laughs> Gee, I wish I had...
had bigger flowers. Uh oh. What's the matter? You drop your napkin? No, how do we know we're at the right table? Who cares? It's the one with the biggest tablecloth. That walk down the corridor was the longest walk I ever took in my life. That chambermaid almost saw us. Hey, how do you know she was a chambermaid? She was carrying a broom. She could have been a naked witch, you know. Well, at least we got here before everybody else. Right, that's a good thing. Hey, Dave. What? What do you say to somebody who isn't wearing anything? I don't know, the same thing, I guess. Uh, how are you? Well, you know how they are. Oh. Hey, one thing, Lair. Huh. When you meet somebody up here for the first time, don't say, nice to see you. <laughs> hey, I, I think there's somebody coming. Oh, brother, how do I look? Terrific. Your beauty mark sets off your eyes terrific. How'd you like a punch in the nose? Not if we have to stand up. <laughs> Shh, I hear him coming. Yeah. Okay, just act natural. Just act natural. Steve, this is as natural as you can be. Shh. <laughs> Uh, pass the rolls, please. <laughs> pass the rolls. Oh, fine, fine. Here you are. Good roll, I'll sure. work, eh? Mr. Honey. I'm sorry I should have told you we, uh, we dress for all meals. <laughs> well, what about those pamphlets uh, up in our room? The, your philosophy, don't you believe in it? Oh, well, the philosophy's fine when the sun's out, but after dark, you could freeze to death. <laughs> no, no, it's nice to see that you're, you're both so open-minded, though, you know? <laughs> well, we're not really that open-minded, honey. You want to show them, Lair? <laughs> I couldn't find a fig leaf. Oh. Hey, honey, Linda. <laughs> Hi, David. Hi. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Doing? I'm welcoming my husband home. But you don't usually do that wrapped up in a sheet. Well, you don't usually come home from a nudist colony. Yeah, well, that's funny, honey, but it's really kind of silly. Why? Well, just because you thought I saw a lot of ladies, you know. Uh, you think it's right that you greet me in a sheet? So what's wrong? Well, to be totally accurate, you shouldn't be wearing anything. Oh. <laughs> okay. Linda! Terrific. You know, you're funny. <laughs> 